We got three in the blocks, guys. 22 yards. There's one right in front of the ball. Go, three low. Go, go. There's 18 yards. <laughs> All right, what's going on today? Well, let me tell you. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Good shooting, boys. So, spotted this field, ah, it's been a couple days now. What ended up happening is a whole bunch of specks showed up and we had this weird front yesterday and and I had to do another hunt yesterday morning so I couldn't get, get into this one. Anyways, it's showtime. It's my first year, is 1994. The guy's name was Paul and Doug Guadagnin and the younger guy was Paul. Uh, he is the junior state calling champion. So we're in a, we're in a blind over a pothole like 2,000 mallards coming to it, right? And they come off a roost, like way over there. They just fly, they would fly straight east, hook, come north, right? So of course he'd see them way the fuck up. And they were giving me shit because I couldn't call. Alberta duck hunter, I had the worst calling, like bad, right? And then the, and they were ribbing me and this was their final morning, and or final, second afternoon, sorry. And uh, he goes, man, Claudia, he goes, you should be a, like a better caller. I go, well, we don't really need to call here. This was before RoboDucks, right? And I go, you know what? Maybe it's my call. Can I try yours? Like, he goes, yeah. So he wipes it clean. He has all the shit, wipes it clean. I put it in my shirt pocket. And, and then I go, 300, 200, 150. And I'm standing there like 60, 20, rip them. <laughs> and they kill him. And I go, here, <laughs> play all you want, you know? And it's funny, he goes, I thought I was calling him. I go, they're coming here whether you are we we're here or not. Like, we're just getting in their way, you know? Yeah. What was here yesterday was a whole bunch of ducks and, and probably 2,000, 2,500 specks and enough Canada's in there, mixed in there to make it interesting. And of course, you know, the specks push the Canada's to the outside. So I didn't really think I'd get any Canada's. Anyways, we hardly saw any specks. You know, last night when they went to roost, they went south, and typically they would go north to this gravel pit. Right here, guys, right here. Right in front of shit. Go, 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 go! Nice, 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 boys, nice, nice shot, Carl. He's going down. Nice shot. Good, good call, job, good fellas. call, guys. I didn't see. That's yeah, right, I got you. No, that was great. <laughs> good shooting, boys. <laughs> How often do sp I'm here trying to listen for him? <laughs> they came in quiet <laughs> for that one. Good call. I did not see him. I didn't see him. No, I didn't hear him. I was looking over here, and Tony went right there, right there. To <laughs> oh, geese coming, guys. Mandos came in quiet. Oh, Holy. Well, those are three drops. Okay. There we go. Now I got a little bit more cover here. This morning, I didn't hear them on the roost. I didn't, like we just did, it's not like we missed them. They didn't go anywhere else. There's not a lot to cut nearby. Uh, so it wasn't another feed going on. I don't know if maybe they left, maybe they migrated. Anyway, didn't see much. The ducks were absolutely out of this world. Right here, guys, look at this. Okay, these ones are gonna do it, guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Over the robles, go, 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 go. Two. Oh, nice shot, boys. Yeah. See, they came in, they come in so hot. Mm -hmm. So, like, if, if we're in a lay down blind, I looked down over the robots, they were already lifting. While they were coming up, yeah. So, like, if we're in a lay down blind, I would have let those go. Yeah. Right? Because they, they're, too, they're too hot. They're hard to kill, right? So, you let them wheel, and then they come downwind. They'll go 150 yards downwind, then they settle right in. Oh. But with the upright, they go vertical on you, and then they might not start. We'll, we'll try another pass, next pass. Mm -hmm. See if they stall. See if we can get them to spin yeah, around. See. Like, I've done these a lot, and to have a duck or multiple ducks or flocks of ducks in the decoys for two hours, and 
See, these ones will be lower. They'll probably do it right. Get ready, guys. They're two on the robot. Go, 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 go. That one. Nice. Yeah. That's a build shot. That was great, Bill. Nice. nice. And not go a minute without having ducks in the decoys. It's unreal. Oh, oh, look at this, guys. Oh, right. Right. Go! Oh, right there. There's three, there's three on this side. I heard them before I saw them. Oh, my God. There's three. Oh, my God. Like, they're trying to get in the blind. Center up. Center up. Go! Go! Three. Okay, I gotta move those robos again. Oh my God, look behind you boys. All right, now it's go time. Oh, look at the right. There are a few. See, oh, look, no, look, look back behind. behind you. There's like 300 of them up there right now. That's more like 2,000. Nah. That's a shit ton of, look at Oh yeah. Okay, boys, we're gonna make this pretty because look, I want that gob in the blocks. A little hot, a little hot, a little hot, a little hot. Be patient, be patient. Let them slow down. And they're low. Okay, get ready, get ready. They're gonna be honest. Thing. First pass, guys. Get ready. As soon as they're low. Oh, he doesn't ball three. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Yeah, they're gonna do it. Get a hook in. Open oh, nice. Go, 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 go. Wow. Three, four, five. Five? Man, it is hard to pick. Oh, did you guys kill one on this side? Yeah. Okay, there's. One hit in the pond, there's three there. I didn't see the one on this side. No, nice shot. I, we didn't actually drop one on this side. Okay, we three. Shot. Yeah, there's three here, not one hit the puddle. Whoo! Wow, that's hard to pick one. That, that, like, that's, that's cool. That is it just oh, never, okay. ever, there's, there's, ever gets old. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got three. Okay, good. And there's one on the water with that speck. Okay, get ready, guys. They're hooking. These are landing. Oh, okay, let's leave, let's focus on this big flock. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch these pintails. Right side, come left. Okay, watch these. There's about, there's about 60 in the blocks, guys. <laughs> Ten low. Okay, leave them, leave them, leave them. Back a little further. Oh, God, these ones are going to do it. Oh, yeah, get ready. They're low. Go, go, go! <laughs> get too close. Nice. Three, four, four. Four. Nice shooting, boys. Why? Well, I, I mean, if they're not going to stall, you shoot them when they're in range, right? That's sporting shooting. Like, that's... Like, if they were, if, if they were actually were over the robots, you guys would have killed seven. Like, it would be over so fast, right? So... Yeah, I know. That's... That was cool. All these ducks are going to do it, guys. Oh, right here. Right here. We're gonna kill these ducks. Yep. Go guys, go, go, that's beautiful. Okay, look at those ones. Could have slapped them. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, right there, right there. On the robos, go, go, go! <laughs> See what happens when it's not perfect? Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, these ones are set, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Ready? Hold on. Over the robots. Go, go! <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh no, there's two. There's two? The Are you sure? There. Yes. All right, it's a click. One, two. Guys, let's count. Let's get out there. Okay, where's that pile of ducks? Are they all in here? Coming in left. Okay, here we go, guys. Right on the robots. Go, go, go! Get them all. Get them all. That's it. We're done. <laughs> That's it. We're done. J Mo, how are you, man? Not bad. Good, good. Are you seeing lots of geese fly or no? Yeah, we see a few. Yeah, they don't really much, too much to do with us. Yeah, we're same. Set up. We're set up by the slough here, so. But yeah, we got five or That's six. So. Ah, okay. Cool. We're shooting the field, I guess. You know, five or six geese. We wouldn't have got them if we if we would have hunted the puddle. We would have been done. Yeah, right. Half ago. Right, right, right. So I just oh, yeah. wanted to compare notes. So you haven't seen a lot of geese. <laughs> oh, no, we've seen quite a few geese. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Well then, I don't know. I don't know where they'd be because we didn't even hear them on the roost. So either they're sleeping in over here. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, there was a few, 
like there's a few you could hear like a few canadas like clucking close but nothing like you know yeah all right i just thought i'd check okay thank okay, bye. bye oh, 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 oh wow all right check check this out check this out So the goose hunting was slow. We only had about six by about nine o'clock. Thought, okay, we'll stick it out. We killed a couple more. Two on the left, left side, centered up. Get ready, guys. Like over the robos. Kill the two, go, 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 right there. <laughs> it don't get much better than that. No, that was nice. That's laying them down right yeah. there. That was picking their head up. And then by around 10, we had 12 or 14. And then, you know, we start chipping away at a few more. By 11, we're at 25. So now we're starting to make a decision. We got to get these guys back for lunch. I talked to Mel. They got two afternoon options. Oh, there they oh, yeah, are. They're coming right, yeah, right to yeah. left. One o'clock. Right, One o'clock. Right, right okay, there's two in the hole. Okay. Curving right up the middle. <laughs> coming up the middle. Kill these two guys. Kill them. Kill them. Nice. Oh, Oh shit. Uh, hey Kurt. <laughs> yes, Paul. Are you guys getting any shots at the geese? Yeah, Bill and I just shot the last two. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a few more flocks come in, and these guys are going, Claudia, why don't we just stay here? We're set up. We got good wind, good cloud cover, birds are flying, and I know we're around a bunch of roosts. So, I mean, it's as trafficy as you can get. Let them come, let them come, let them come. Roll them, roll them, roll them. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, shot twice. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna kill this one. If you can, oh yeah, get ready, guys. Roll him, roll him, roll him, roll him. Get him, get him. Nice, dead center over the robo. Go, 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 go. <laughs> We're stuck right now, it's 11 o'clock. We're stuck at 25. Talk to Jay, talk to Aiden. Aiden's gonna prepare some lunch. Jay's gonna run it out for us. And uh, we're just gonna stick it out. You know, we have great setup. The birds that are, the geese that are coming are doing it. We're just not seeing a lot of geese. And we shot a limited ducks. <laughs> Right on the robo. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Nice. Like, no matter where you look, there's a flock of ducks. Uh, we're pivoting quickly. I'll be out all day, which is great. I love it. Great stuff. Looking forward to lunch. I'm hungry and I did get a little cold. I had to borrow a vest, but life's good right now. Where are they? On the, sounds know. like they're back left. Oh, yeah. You got something going? Yeah, back straight, straight back actually. Straight, straight. Oh my God, they're gonna come right over to the door. You wanna shoot them as they come over? You tell us. Go, go, go! Oh shit. <laughs> I told you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't realize they were on us. Yeah, well, soon. and yeah. you know what? I don't know that they're, yeah. I think they're just Pretty flying back there. to roost at this time. Yeah. You gotta yeah. shoot. We just got lucky they yeah. flew over us. I, I thought we had like a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah. Put these on the ground. Don't move. You're at the edge. Don't move. Don't move. Move them down, boys. Nice. Nice, guys. Nice. Yeah. That was like there we go. four that was or five. Good. That was nice. Yeah. Okay, so how do we set this one up today? Well, the geese weren't necessarily or the ducks right here. They didn't actually finish right here. They actually finished just, just that hill, just breaking over the edge. Now they spent most of the day here, but by the end of the night, they had fed and kind of down. There were some here, some up over the other hill as well. And then, I mean, there was actually some on the other hill over there as well, and there's some here. But the, oh, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> let him come, let him come. Let him come. Let him come. Go! Shit! Oh, 
shit, I knew I looked at the going down. Down. All right, well, that was awesome. We just killed another three. Jay's just pulling in with uh, with a CRV with some lunch. Jay Mo! I think we might get it done here today. It's good. All right, lunchtime. Thanks, Jay Mo. How was your hunt? Oh, what you got in the box there? Oh, oh yeah, they're gonna need it. <laughs> There's a bit of a grind. A little bit right. You ready? Kill these two guys. Right there, right there. Redemption. Roll them, roll them. Get them all, boys. You and I hit the same bird. <laughs> Get ready, guys. <laughs> Go! What happened to the one on the right, guys? Hold it. Hold on. One in the decoys. Kill it, kill it, kill it. We're gonna go. We did it. It was uh it was a long one, but it was good. And the ones that did it did it great. It was fun. Great hunt, guys. Thanks again. Alright. Well that was a long one. Really, really interesting hunt, this one. You know, yesterday I spotted this thing. I spotted it a couple days ago and it was getting a little bit bigger and uh it was it wasn't right just perfect to hunt it on Monday morning. It was just odd, the birds were all over. And then yesterday, kind of came together. Lots of specks. Now, of course, I hunted on the Monday morning. This is Tuesday afternoon now, Tuesday at six o'clock. Um, so what happened was, I didn't get the morning intel on it. I got here yesterday. It was kind of snotty, a little bit of rain. And I almost think that they may have day roosted here. Because, uh, I mean, they fed, the ducks fed here hard, and the geese fed here hard. There's Canada's and specks. It was about 1,500, maybe 2,000 specks, maybe a bit more. Lots of ducks. You know, a couple hundred Canada's spread out throughout the entire property. And uh, I had them kind of pinpointed to where we, you know, where we were on the X. Maybe they're just a little bit down more in the basin. I just sat up on top. But, you know, when they went out to, for, to roost last night, they went south. And, and that was, you know, we had a northwest wind at that, ah, I doubt they're gonna migrate. And, you know, rather than go north to the big roost that they've been using, so then, ah, no big deal, they do things like that. Well, this morning was very, very quiet on the goose front. And we had, uh, we ended up with 40 ducks and only about nine geese. And that was probably by about nine o'clock. And then, and then, you know, we slowly started chipping away and ended up with, you know, ended up with, I think we had 23 or 25 by 11. And at that point, you know, we have to make a decision. We got to get the guys back and feed them. The other group was back. Jay ended up with uh, 40 ducks and six geese. So of course it's decision time. The guys had hunts. Uh, the weather was supposed to get a little bit snarly. So we thought we got to get them out early. And then Kurt goes, Claudia, why don't we just stay? I mean, the birds are moving. We're, it's still happening. So I, I said, yeah, I mean, I'm good with that, you know? and Sure enough, we uh, I had Jay bring out lunch, and it was still fairly active when we did that. We had a flight of cranes come in and absolutely do it. We didn't couldn't shoot them because we were all standing around the car in there. What ended up happening is, at by one o'clock we had 36, and then uh, you know it was starting to clear off. There's still smoke, but no more cloud cover, and uh, I thought, oh man, this is gonna taper off bad. And then and then Kurt goes, oh, we'll get him in the next little bit, and I just said, oh, now you jinxed us. And that was the last flight we saw at one. And then we killed a pair of Canada's at about 5.30. And then we just killed the last Canada that came in 
Uh, there was a pair. We killed the one we needed, and that was it. That was at uh, 6 o'clock. So, you know, I've been out here for 11 and a half hours plus setup. It's been, it's been a long one. Uh, I'm tired, but, uh, you know, ecstatic. I mean, that's definitely the longest hunt I've ever done, you know, with one group in a field. But uh, just proof, you can't get it done. Stick it out. The ducks were absolutely out of this world. I've guided, I'm not gonna say thousands of ducks, tens of thousands of ducks with hundreds of hunters on hundreds of hunts. And this hunt was by far the craziest on the duck side. I mean, it was flight after flight after flight until one o'clock solid. I mean, there was times there was probably not a minute would go by where we had a flight of ducks doing it into decoys. And I mean, they were doing it like right on the robos just dancing in front of us it was epic when the wind kicked up uh, I had to just adjust the rig they're flaring off the back side and I don't know if they were I mean they were in there like right where I was about to call it the wind was so long just not enough time to get the shots off so I had to get the birds in quite a bit closer than normal just so you know just so we could get get the shooting off and the guys can mount the guns and get these things shot and that's a hard shot that that fading away shot anyways I managed to uh, make some adjustments and then what we did is we're using the dive bomb silhouettes and of course the ground was so hard and this is a you know an important tip but they were waving pretty good in the wind and I just said guys let's let's get out there push every one of them down through the stake like down through the stake right onto the onto the ground and stop that flopping and that made a huge difference and you know we cleaned up the empties around the blind and I cleaned up the blind a little bit, got it in a little bit better shape, and that was it. But uh, it was good. It was a good hunt. And then, you know, it's funny. You know, these geese, right? Like, specs will be specs, and sometimes they just will not, will not look at you. And other times they'll flare hard at 80 yards, and then other flights they'll come in and you kill them at five yards. So, pretty crazy. Absolutely a great, great hunt, though. I see Daryl's calling. Gotta go, I gotta grab this one. Cheers all. Selfie video mode, again.